A marvelous tale I will spin A paddle and diesel and paint Brush and so we begin To capture it all on a birch wood board And color the wild like no one before Oh grant me your voice and I'll sing the sunsets of glory and geese on the wing Aurora filled skies all aglow The chime between stars up above And the water below And capture it all on a birch bark board And color the wild like no one before Strong, steady hand and a keen weather eye. For once you are lost in her gaze, she'll wrap her arms tightly around you and take you away to capture it. George Rowe and Larry Dixon swore they wouldn't get too drunk to fish today. Just in case a guest from the Moa Dim decided they needed a guide, one of them had to be reasonably sober. There was still an outside chance that 8 a.m. train would deliver fresh sports in their zippered jackets looking for a guide, but both men doubted it. The war had cut off their supply of young, able tourists. George fills his shanty cup with hot coffee and Larry adds a generous splash of moonshine to each. Tom Thompson now. He sought out the isolation of the bush. Armed with a fishing rod and paints, he earned his solitude. Working silently and methodic, methodically, movements confident, minimal. He quickly became self-sufficient, traveling and painting on his own. Tom cherished having to report to nobody. Only the weather dictated his actions. With his high cheekbones, straight black hair, long narrow nose and deep summer tan, when tourists confused Tom for a red Indian, he took it as the highest of compliments. He was able to change course or plans without consultation, sacrificed a great deal of money, friends and comfort to be here. Told me in the city he could be making 75 cents an hour. Larry shakes his head in disbelief. For drawing pictures. Ah, uh, Tom put no stock in it. Drawing ads for furniture stores, real estate development, soup labels and petticoats. George Rowe understood the need for refuge from the city. Like Tom, he did not see the wild lands as savage and daunting, but elegant, delicate, harmony. Tom said he was tired of trying to live up to the expectation of others. <laughs> 